Double drag it. It's your boy A Man. Like it. Back with some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. Is that nasty? Baby sucking on fingers? Yeah. Like you stick your finger in your baby mouth? I wouldn't be doing it like like that, but if my kids grab my finger or something. Yeah. That's different. You know, get a little pacifier. Mm. God, it's a big old baby. Bro, how did he, he, he ain't do nothing, bro. That was a miracle, baby. He ain't do nothing about that, bro. He said her again? The white beards? Banner? Yeah, because remember he was protecting it back then. Oh, back then he was? Yeah. I feel like they don't respect the queen, bro. They liked it before. <laughs> nah, you gotta, you gotta send that in like the mail or something. We'll make it an app. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rascal, bro. Dang! Invisible dude there, too? Mm -hmm. You got some pants. <laughs> That's a bad example, fam. They just misinterpreting what's going on. That's crazy. <laughs> Dang, they go fam that Usopp mopped. Dang, it's on site. Ooh, we gotta suck fighting them, bro. They literally like sharks in the water, bro. Right. He said, "What are you doing?" Try shooting now, motherfucker. <laughs> Hit that man with that. Who was that? That E Honda fan. Right. Karate. <laughs> Look at how she fell. Boy. Too big at his back. Damn. Talk to him, Jimbe. You gonna make no sense. So the Navy man, they some. Get smacked by the back arm, though. <laughs> yeah, can. Why did he shoot? Mm. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> he said, take everything. Mm. Did he sacrifice and that's how you got the wound? Yeah. Like, um, did he like sacrifice his like body for that hit? Oh. And that's how you got the wound where he need the blood transfusion. He got a different mm. He got no emotion. Mm. <laughs> they should look at the other pirates 
as an example for the humans as opposed to the Navy. I'm confused. What do you mean? You know how like they're trying to like kill the Navy, the Navy doing slavery and stuff. So it's like they got a bad example of humans. Mm -hmm. But I feel like looking at the Navy as an example. But I feel like if they look at the pirate humans as an example, they'll see that humans are not as bad as like the Navy. I see what you're doing. Just like the third time you tried tried to touch up on it. No, because it, look though. The symbol you saw was Whitebeard protecting this whole island. He a human. So that he has a good relationship. This is a fisherman island. But Whitebeard is choosing to protect it. I feel like if they would focus more on the perspective from other humans, like the pirates. Humans, not pirates. Humans. Not pirates, but like I got to make the kind of the separation because the Navy example is not giving them a good, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you, do you, do you remember that they said all of this started going bad at the start of the, the start of the uh, great pirate war? Um, and do you remember the first scene where the pirates bust up, started shooting everything up humans? Like the Navy, so like the Navy enslaved them because because of like what? it's not the navy that enslaved them it's, it's the world government that controls the navy the world government did it but you saying that since since those are bad humans look at pirates you get a better feel for them but you don't remember that the pirates was, was also the ones that went in there and and like blew up everything started killing them talking to them down and stuff like that so you they showed a clip yeah no 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 to all the fish people right that's what I'm saying. Like it's on it's on both sides. It's on both sides. And who do you think takes takes these slaves to the actual slavery auction? The pirates to get the bounty. No, the Marines do. No, no, the pirates they do too. But the Marines they be they want to enslave people. They have their own. The pirates not forcing them to have slavery. It's not, it's not the it's not the Marines or maybe it's the world government. World government Marines they under the same umbrella. That's like saying. Police officers want this uh, like slaves, but it's really the government, the White House. Okay, but if they following that, you under that same umbrella. They could be following it under false pretenses. Pretenses what happens a lot. Like you don't know, like uh, like the underscore. We just could say, uh, like arrest all those villains or something like that. Right, but I guess I'm trying to say they think all humans are bad. Yes, pirates are bad. They did bad stuff. Did yes, bad the stuff. Navy is bad. They do bad stuff, but they still have an example, like with Whitebeard and them. But that's, that's actually decided. One, that's to like one percent. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I ain't look less than that. I'm just saying, like something that can help counteract the whole humans are just evil. You know what I'm saying? It's like a hundred percent, but it's like they have an example where they can go to. They got examples on both sides. Like that the navy. If you take an example like that, they have them on both sides. What is? Give me an example of the navy. Art. Like that he's that they actually seen them doing. Whitebeard is actively Garp. doing something. Garp, they have Garp, because he don't he don't be just enslaving people like that. But I'm saying, what he do they don't... see? What do they see him as in the navy or the war government doing? They should have been seeing Whitebeard then, and they obviously still don't like him. That's why I'm. That's why I'm like they need to look at what the bigger picture, what's going on. Whitebeard is is a human, but he's protecting y'all island. Only thing I'm saying is, is looking at pirates instead of Marines to give them a better perspective. I think that might be false because it's going to be the same on, on, on both sides. Like, yeah. You got anything else? <laughs> He got to prove something like that to somebody like him. It just seems like like a small percentage is like a, like really trying to kill humans like that. Mostly because of these ringleaders. Well, I guess for people trying to look at it, trying to get that enlightenment, Fish and Tiger don't need to like see that example on either side. It's kind of already, huh? Yeah, he already, he already like, yeah. 
But like for people like that, I'm trying to see if it's something that they could see. Because they're not going to have that common sense like Fisher Tiger. Yeah. Who else got them shoes? Mm. Luffy over there looking serious. That dude, that dude focused on the story. Yeah. He was trying to get my other side. You said I, I need two dollars. I want like, where's my bounty? Dang. He got a horrible picture. <laughs> She's not playing, bro. Sign this paper. We freed the slave. She's smiling. What the? Dang! Mm. Need some tissue? Can look with Karen is Koala, whatever your name is. Mm. Wow. This girl is traumatized. That's crazy, G. Put a smile on. Mm. Like a broken record. Dang, I feel that. Boom. No, Arlon didn't like this. You make kiss in the air. He ended up doing this. Enslaving Nami. Still. Dang, she finally able to cry. Dang. Frida. A little touching moment at the end. Pretty dope, man. That's a real leader right there, man. Lead yeah. people to good. He don't care about no fame. He don't care about none of that. He care about making his people do better and being in a better position. Big facts, it's man. It's like Martin Luther King of the fishermen people. Facts. It's crazy because um, <clears throat> he reminds me of Whitebeard in that mm -hmm. sense as far as like being a great leader. Yeah. And at first I was thinking in my head, like, man, I wish they could have both been together at some point but it's like they each have to be like their own leader you know um lead different people or whatever yeah. but seeing both of them together would have been cold it was fire yeah i enjoyed it man uh koala that was touching moment man because at first i'm like what's wrong with her bro but she's literally like traumatized but she's only 11 years old that's all she saw I think something either gonna happen to her that leads to the Sun Pirates' demise, or we're gonna see her in the future. In a yeah. sense, during this arc. Because they just don't be introducing kids like that. I don't know. Yeah. I know all I'm one feeling that he wasn't. <laughs> Thank you, Hopefully bro. Hopefully he grows a little soft, softer towards her. Yeah. Hopefully. It's like. It's like I I know I, I know what Arlong has done, but I can't shake the that I like his character. Um not like his character and like decisions he made, but just his pretty much character log of like who he is and stuff, what he's been through, or what he's done. I think it's a pretty well written character, even though we've only had like s such little of it versus that one arc. Yeah, but and yeah. that's cool. That's cool to like get yeah, backstory though. Yeah, you know, depend, you know, and not like certain things, said decisions. I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. Definitely shouldn't kill home girl. Huh? That's when I would think he went too far, but I feel like that's probably not the first time he went too far. But 
pretty much killing that uh girl was just uh Bellamere messed up. Oh, and mom. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he ain't learned from Fishman Tiger, man. He had the great one of the great leaders as like his mentor, and he just went his own way, fam. Yep. But all right, man, I'm ready to get to the next episode. See what happens. Let's go. Hachi's character in Arlong Park don't make sense now. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. At least she, she, she didn't know how to clean the house up good. Yeah. Aladdin. <laughs> she definitely looked like Aladdin. <laughs> oh, she was just coming around. What's up, Jim Bay? What is she claiming, though? Because <laughs> I don't know you folk. That's you not fair. Eight hands, fam. <laughs> smiling. They probably honestly just going there buying they buying they stuff. Not even like robbing people and then just honestly getting their stuff. Mm hmm Walking out. Right the shell? Just child. Strong teeth. Oh crap. Get off the ship. <laughs> you from Arizona? At least I got a good example. A little bit. Hollow, sick of it. I don't like that fishman uh well uh, tiger's going by itself. <laughs> The humans can probably do something. She can't stop them. Oh. A mean spirited human. Don't we talk about koala like that. And she's the only one again. Mina. Ooh, what if they see that scar on her back? Tattoo. And they probably don't understand the meaning of the meaning of it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, turned away. She, she ain't waste a second. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, bro. She called him Uncle Tiger. None of them acknowledge that he brought her there. Yeah. Just turned the blind eye to the truth. Oh. Strawberry? Boy, what the hell is up with your head, boy? Picking humans. I don't say him. Her family saying something? Wow. What? They just gonna shoot? They ain't gonna take him in? That's crazy. Hey, man. I knew I didn't like him going by himself. Mm. Oh, damn. Mm. <laughs> He's about to kill everybody. <laughs>
Y'all ship is only the size of a quarter anyway. <laughs> Why is he still standing? The demon coming out. Mm. Dang. They share the same blood. Dang it, bro. Dang it. <laughs> Yes, ain't doing, but nothing feeds their minds with more hate. Figured that out. Dang. I thought he was a slave the whole time. Man, that's what made him like really want to save everybody too. Facts. Now her mama around. Yeah, I was talking about that devil inside him. Dang. Just sneak the fusion, the transfusion on him, man. Mm. He said protect. Mm. I ain't doing the same thing. Dang, oh. Ooh, that crowd was ugly. Oh, man. So the truth was, this dude refused it himself. Right. I like that. It's pretty good writing. Pretty good writing. And the other people don't know because they he told them not to tell nobody. Mm -hmm. So now you got people like Horty Jones thinking that back then, the humans refused to give him the transfusion, but he now refused it's a to whole him. law about it, like a whole practice or a law you can't even give humans blood because of that. This dude was conflicted, fam. Super conflicted. Like I can't put myself in his shoes, of course, but it's like, bruh, like your life, bruh. That was to me. That was kind of pride. Like it was, it was way too much pride. Like he did a good thing, but ain't nobody perfect. That man had some strong pride, bro. Like, you really yeah. about to die. And you leaving this up to, like, you know, Arlon still need work. And so, you know what I'm saying? It's like a whole bunch of stuff. And you're going to refuse, like, like help like that? Right. I can understand if it's from, like, your enemy, the person that shot you. But it's like, come on, man. It's a couple packets of blood. But, like I said, I'm not in his, his shoes. So I don't know. But that's crazy, though. Yeah. It's crazy because it's like on one hand, he's really contradicting himself on his deathbed. On right. one hand, he's saying Odahime is right and he's putting the, the future of the world in the, in the young generation of the kids because them get, they don't have like the um, prejudged uh, mental perspectives on everything. He's not prejudiced. Yeah. And um, on the other hand, he's like, I'm never forgiving humans. This, this demon inside of me, I will never forgive them, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, you got to put your hope and faith in the kids of the generation and just kind of stick with that as opposed to, you know, but it, he was conflicted. He even said it himself he was conflicted. That demon. I would have been in his deathbed. We'd been listening. We'd be crying. And he'd be like, yeah, but she was right. I'd be like, what? <laughs> he just said. <laughs> like, yeah. Dang it, bro. That was wild, man. They caught him lacking. I kind of wish he could have went out in a more 
I guess, fashionable or noble way by somebody like higher up, like maybe Kazaru. That's what I thought was about to happen. But like a little small unit, that's whack. Yeah, man. The Admiral dude didn't even uh strawberry dude. Don't look like he did nothing. He just kept getting the shot. That's some some damn bullets, man. I would have thought he would went out a little bit more noble than that. That was a weak death to me, y'all. I'm sorry. Just being real. It was a weak death. Especially if I look at him like the like 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 the king of the like he pretty much was like Martin Luther King. Yeah. But then again, you gotta think about it. Same thing happened to King. Oh yes, I don't know. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot, man. I'm just tired because I want to put fish like Fisher Tiger. <clears throat> as far as like the characters, like like deep good characters of One mm -hmm. Piece, like I want to put him in like that whole treasure box of characters, like yeah, because. You know, I don't mind putting him in there. I he definitely like he got painted that. at the very end, though. Yeah, at the very he end. Got a little really... style. I was like, better calm down before you get out the club. <laughs> I'm about to take you off the neck, take your name off the list. It's really tainted, bro. It's <clears> really, <throat> it's really tainted. But wow, man, I like how like One Piece is just, I don't know, it's just more. Like it's different stories from different cultures, walks of life, times. cultures, yep. times. Like it just transcends. You know, a lot of other things. You know, most anime are just kind of one track thing, the story, they got that, and that's it. But One yeah. Piece, it'd be touching on everything. Well, if you read the newspaper, like, dang, that, I'm about to add that in my story. <laughs> that's crazy. That, that's what happened. That, that's the next art. Yeah. That's the next art. Right. But I'm, but I'm glad we kind of figured out what happened to him. And, and once again, it's like, it was based off hearsay. That's not what really happened. Exactly. That's not what really happened. And that's a huge, huge truth, bro. That a lot of them don't know. Oh man. But... And you know it's probably crazy. No, I think I think they done signed it by now. She don't need them signatures still, do she? Mm, I mean everything is still I don't know what happened in between them twelve years if she ever got signatures or not. If she did, Jimbe was a warlord, so they had to have some type of thing. They had to have something, but um, you know, when they was on somebody, Hachi was trying to tell them, you know what I'm saying? That's why he's trying to hide himself as a fisherman. Well, like, yeah, like like I feel like they could they can get the paper signed and get a seat at the world table, but they they could still be oppressed though. Yeah. I just didn't know if they got that seat. That's all I was trying to say. But I guess we won't know until we figure it out. Yeah, man. This... Oh, she gone. I forgot she gone. Right. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God, you okay. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, man, this was uh this was a dope episode. I kinda I enjoyed it. And um hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure I take these videos out on our Patreon before you put them on YouTube. Thanks. Double dragon out. Peace. Deuces.